bush said, I am. Uh, and Deuteronomy 32, 4, um, where God is called the rock. Well, that's because the rock is the bull, Taurus, which we're going to learn about. And you can see the word Tor here. <sighs> Jehovah Ra does. Yeah. Yeah. You see the little eye of Osiris? Mm -hmm. That's Jehovah. You see, and it's always in a pyramid. Well, that's the tetragrammaton. And so the tetragrammaton is the fire element. And the Bible tells you that the Lord God is a blazing fire. Yes, it is. The Lord God is a sun and a shield. A sun. Psalms 86. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So this this is the sun. All is atom. Atom, at, atom is an atom, and atoms are suns. That's all they are. The solar systems, all atoms. The little cloudy thing that they see, the electron cloudy little thing that the quantum physicists believe is a particle. Yeah, what is that? Well, it's 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 the wave. It's it's the torus field. They're looking at torus fields. Everything is toruses. So we're going to learn that. This is why um, Deuteronomy 32.4 calls God a Tor, a Tzur. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, all, this word a Tzur, A-T-Z-U-R, mm -hmm. um, this can also be Thor, Jupiter Zeus, God of Gods, like owner Thursday. of all. Mm -hmm. huh? So like Thursday. Yeah, that's Thursday. Mm -hmm. Thursday. Okay, we say um, Giovedi in Italian. Giove is Jehovah, is Jupiter. Jove, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jove, jovial. Giovedi. Mm -hmm. The day of jovialities, Jupiter. Wow. Thor. Wow. Okay, so Deuteronomy 32 4 calls God Sur, the God of. The God of, well, look at that. We found uh -huh. Pater Noster, Jupiter, Jupiter, mm -hmm. Jupiter Zeus, Jesus, Jesus. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesus. So, El Leon, the lion. God is a lion. He has mm -hmm. the face of a, a, a lion, a man, an eagle. And it also and means... Uh, in the original Hebrew, El Elyon means God the Most High, or the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's all the sun. Remember, all is atum. Everything comes from the sun. Everything. The sun, not the physical sun that we see. You see, you've got these churchgoers who get their panties in a knot because they say, oh, the heliocentric sun worshippers. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's like saying, oh, the, the man who, the people who stab other people with knives, they belong to a knife cult, and <laughs> knives are evil. We have to destroy all knives because they're using <laughs> knives to kill people. It doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, there are, there are dipshit sun worshippers, and then there are true sun worshippers who are called heliognostics, Nazis. who mm -hmm. know that behind the sun... There is another sun, and behind that sun, there is another sun. Mm -hmm. The sun that we see in the heavens, that's what we see with our physical eyes. Behind that is the psychic soul of the sun. And then behind that is the spiritual spirit of Isn't the sun. Isn't that what's referred to uh, by the Kabbalists with Ketir and the three veils, the Ain, the Ain Suf, and the Ain Suf Or, these three levels behind light? Yeah, the Ein, Ein, Sof, mm -hmm. the Ein, Sof, and the Sof. Okay, so so there's always three levels. Everything is in trinities. This is the only way the universe can work because you've got point lines. There's a point, and the universe makes lines like this. 
And so those are point lines. That's, that's it. That's rotating. Rotating T O R torus fields. Rotate torus. You see, in the Jewish system, they've got <coughs> Torah. The law. Oh, that's just. Hey? The law. Torah, the law. Mm -hmm. The law of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we have. Tor, God, the rock, these these are the rocks because like all bodies, every living being is a spirit, a soul, and a body. Mm -hmm. Now, the body does not always have to incarnate. It, you don't have to always have physical bodies, what we what we call physical bodies like this, of flesh, flesh, blood, and bone. There are other forms of body. For instance, rather than bone, you can have cartilage. Some creatures who live in higher ages like the Silver Age and the Golden Age, mm -hmm. i.e. human beings, mm -hmm. have not had to have these solid bones. Wow. In, it, we, we had cartilage. We had um, crystalline um, DNA. It was, it was m higher vibrating. So we had bodies and form mm -hmm. more beautiful than these bodies, way more beautiful than these bodies. More rarefied but body. A much more rarefied body. And so, um, and so all is Atum, everything is Atum. You are Atum. That's why your body is in the shape of a T. You come from a womb, you end up in a tomb. And that's why you have an anatomy. Anna, Tommy. Tommy and Anna, everywhere you go. Saint Anne. I thought and about that earlier today, Santos, and I came to womb, tomb, and moon. As in the the where we come through the the uh, the lunar sphere into this physical yep. world. Wow. Yeah. Well, moon is mind. Okay. The moon now. So the the sun represents the spirit because that's the spirit, a little dot in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's the sun. The moon. So this is spirit. This is mind. Mm. Mind, moon. See the word min? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The minute hand? Because the minute hand is dominated by the moon and the hour hand? Horus. Mm -hmm. Horus is the hour hand. Mm. So there's this one rules your spirit. This one here rules your mind and emotions. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get words like minister and ministry and ministerial. Mm -hmm. From the moon. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, all, they're all moon worshippers. Mm -hmm. Now, when we say moon worshippers, no one, no one, unless they're stupid, of course, bows down to the physical sun and moon. If right. you bow down to the sun, you are doing that as you would bow down before your best friend, mm -hmm. as you would bow down before a king as you would bow down before an angel. But you do not worship that one. You always worship the sun behind the sun behind the sun, the spirit, the spirit of God. The sun is God, but it's the body of God. And so you can see there the word moat, emotion. Well, mm -hmm. that comes from Tom. Okay, so Tom... So the moon, the moon rules these two, the mind and the emotions, and the sun, the sun rules this intelligence. The intellect of the individual. It's the it's the it's the it's the it's, the, it's um, the spiritual intelligence of the individual. Intelligence is not mind. Mind and intelligence are totally separate. Okay, wow. ego, mind, and intelligence are the trinity of mm -hmm. God's of God's higher subtle energies. Ego, intelligence, and actually, mind. intelligence in, intelligence is first. Intelligence, mind, and then ego. Ego, mm -hmm. yeah. The Lord. Okay, so yes, yeah, so if you want to see how someone is intelligent, 
you look at their sun sign. Mine is Aryan. If you want to see how someone's mind works and their emotions, you look at their moon sign. Mine is Pisces. If you want to see what uh, someone's outer personality is, you look at their ascendant. Mm -hmm. The rising sign, earth sign. The, yes, the ascendant or the rising sign. Mine is Leo. So that's the outer personality. That's the body acting. Mm -hmm. Not the spirit, the body is the ascendant because that is the earth sign. So you have fire, um, sun, moon, and earth. Mm -hmm. Terror. There goes that T again. <laughs> that's, that, that's right. Terror. And what is terror? The Taurus field. Mm -hmm. the, same, the same you can work out with earth. Because it's the earth sign, the first earth sign, the fixed earth sign, Taurus. T-A-R. Tar. Taurus fields. Wow. Earth. Terra. So what you have now, what you have is you, we are understanding that the names of God were given to God. To resonate with what God does, which is to create with light. That's called illumination, reverberation. Mm. Okay, so, so the Creator does this with His one form and one shape. His cow bulls or His um, Taurus bulls. Okay. okay, and so the Creator creates from counter space. From, ze from the zero point. Here in counter space is omniscience, omnipotence, omnipresence, immortality, unconditioned, unqualified, unlimited the energy. The most high. The most high. And what comes out from there is always, like I showed before, you've got point lines. That's it, the sine wave, it, the point lines. So the universe makes energy like this. Wow. Okay, so, like so if I do it, well, yeah, you could do it like this, just straight like this. Because we do lines like this. We point, we do a point, then a line, mm -hmm. which a point, it's still a point line, but the universe doesn't know how to do that. Nowhere, anywhere. It can only do this. And it doesn't do it on one dimension. It does it like that. Wow. Like an S. Wow. Like the yin and yang. Yin, yeah, yin, yang, yeah. Or the letter eight. Mm -hmm. Or okay. the serpent, or so, the kundalini, or the reptile. I and mean, we go back to that. Wow. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But, but this, it does. It's the Ouroboros. It's the Mobius strip. It's the Lemony skate. It's the Analema. It's the laminin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything does this. Everything is in the shape of a cross. Everything is a cross, a sine wave and a cross. And so um, what you have is you're not just doing this like, like that in, 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 uh, in one dimension. You have to give it depth. Mm -hmm. So you have to do it like this. Wow. And so when you do that, you are now creating... A field, a torsion field, like this. And so you have an hourglass here, and, and the torus itself is basically just God's physical creation because the torus is red shift, blue shift. That's what Taurus and bull mean. Taurus, uh, backwards, rot is red in German. Rotate. Mm. Red, um, which is also, if you remember that T and D are interchangeable, it's also our red. Mm. Okay. Uh, Ross, 
All of that, Russ, mm -hmm. is red. Russ I just thought of something, Tar, uh, uh, not Tars, but Santos. Uh, the T and the D are interchangeable, so now the rod becomes rod, and I think about Aaron's rod, right, who was also Tars, that budded and brought forth almonds. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah, this is the rod of Jehovah. This is the rod here. Mm. This is the this is the tree, the Yggdrasil tree in the middle of the garden, of all gardens, Tori. So rod, rod and backwards becomes door. <laughs> wow. Door, dorado, gold. gold. These are the golden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Taurus means not only red, it also means gold, door, dorado. And it's the door, the portal that opens into the physical world. And then you have to go back here to get out of the physical world in the heart of the Taurus or in the heart of your torso. Same word. Because the, the, okay. the golden is also uh, the golden calf, the bull. Mm. This is the golden calf of, of Aaron. Because if you put the 12 zodiacal signs around this cycle, mm -hmm. you will have... Aries here, Taurus here, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. And that's how all energy works. I find it interesting that um, um, that you can, you can look at one sign and digest it by looking at its counter sign. And how you began with the S, and then we ended up at Taurus. So I look at the S as Scorpio, that which also Deacon is a snake, a serpent, uh, that moves across the field to Taurus, the bull. I think that's very powerful. I also, uh, while you're getting your 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 image there, when you first drew the Taurus field, I'm thinking about Saturn, Kronos, and he's always holding that hourglass shape that all things are made in time and in space. Um, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. Yeah, well, time is magnetism. That's all it is. Mm. Same thing. Magnitude, magnetism, time. Saturn, Kronos, tempo, time. It all comes under Saturn. This is the wheel of Saturn mm. and the sun. It's the rule. Saturn and the sun are the rulers of this. They are the twins, Horus and Set, Jesus and Satan. And so, not only is rot red, but so is rust. You've mm -hmm. got rust. What color is rust? It's red, iron, Mars. Mm -hmm. In Italian, rosso, red, toros, mm. um, um, roses are red. Mm -hmm. Violets are blue. Ross. Ross. You know what's funny? You say uh, rose, and uh, I think Venus, right? Uh, love, who also rules Taurus and Libra. That's powerful. That's powerful. Yes, yes, yes. And you're, you're, right, on, you're right on the money there because Adam is red and Eve is blue. What we're going to see is this is Adam and Eve, the two twins in the Garden of Eden. Taurus bull, bull, bull is blue. Mm -hmm. Bull, blue, blue in English, blue in Italian. We can't see that, uh, Santos. Move your camera up just a little bit so we can uh, see what you got on the whiteboard. There, there we go. Uh huh. Gotcha. Bull, mm -hmm. blue, mm -hmm. blue. In Italian, blue in French. Wow. Because blue is bull, and that's Eve, the ruler of Taurus, mm -hmm. the bull. Mm -hmm. And Adam is red, because that's what Adam means. It means red. red. Reddish. Mm -hmm. Adam. Red man. And so, and so does the earth. Earth in Hebrew is Adama, mm -hmm. and it means red earth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because the earth is also red. And so is your heart. Your heart is red. Because it pumps red blood. So it's all about red and blue. The Taurus bulls are nothing other than the red blues. Because when this is happening, 
when when energy does this, mm -hmm. it creates it creates a redshift blue shift energy field. Wow, that's it. It's pretty simple. It's just have to pay attention. So you've got all this rust, mm -hmm. rust, rose, Russia. Russia means red. The rust oh, people. I didn't know that. Yeah, the red people of Russia. Russia means red. <laughs> Rosso. Um, so, and then, and you've got the blue, and clearly it, you can see, and, and you can do this in other languages. I've done it in French here. Look, French, Italian, Spanish, it's it's all bull and blue. Blue and bull, it's the same word. So, um, what we're having now is we're understanding that obviously the most important signs in theology are the first two, mm -hmm. because... Aries represents uh, one, mm -hmm. and Taurus represents the number two, mm -hmm. division, mm -hmm. having. So Aries is I am, and Taurus is I have. I have, yeah. Okay, so um, from one to infinity, doubling only occurs here in Taurus. So that's why... The two letters T and B both represent the number two. Wow. Taurus, T is the 22nd, uh, the 20th letter in uh, the English language. That reduces down to a two. Mm -hmm. And B is bi. Binary. Which both. is also the second letter of the, of the English alphabet. <laughs> Sorry? I said, which is all, B is also the second letter of the English alphabet. All languages. There's no, there's no language in, under the sun where B is not number two. Wow. Because it's binary, both. It, this is, there's only one language in the universe, and it's called atom, atomology. We spell it like this. Etymology. But it's basically just all is atom. All languages are atomic, okay? So there's no, forget about Pakrit, Sanskrit, Hebrew being the mother of all languages. <laughs> They're all children of one language. Wow. Atomology, all is atom. All comes from atoms. All comes from this Taurus fields. You could say, you could even say all is ator. <laughs> We're all because Taurus in here. <laughs> Everything is red blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blue chakra at the top of the torso torus. Mm -hmm. Red chakra at the bottom of the torso torus. So my body's red shift blue shift. The rainbow, the rainbow in the sky is red shift blue shift. Mm. You know the matrix. The matrix has the blue pill and the red pill. Wow. The the police car has a red siren and a blue siren. There's the red light district and the blue light, light district. district. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, there's the red bloods and the blue bloods. Wow. Demo uh, um, uh, Republican Republicans Democrat. are red, mm -hmm. Democrat, Democrats are blue. Mm -hmm. All your flags are red and blue. Wow. Why? Your hot tap is red. Your blue tap is cold. Wow. The, all of this polarity is expressed by... Red and blue. Red and blue. Wow. Taurus, Rus, Rosso, red. Mm -hmm. Bull, blue, bull, blue. I'm just doing this for the slower ones like Christopher Lord <laughs> and Cullen Smith and Danny Wilton because they watch everything I do. They'll never get this unless I go really, slow. really <laughs> slow. Like, i got to pretend I'm retarded. So. We got you. Yeah, sometimes I've got to go down to retarded level for these uh, for my boyfriends who uh, watch everything I do and publish everything I do. Wow. And this also reminds me of uh, a Red Bull, the drink Red Bull that gives you energy. There you have it. Red and blue give energy. That's awesome. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, red and blue give energy, exactly. But if you look at the roots of words, you will understand much, much more. Okay, so in Sanskrit... Mag means to move. Tor, which, have, which we've already worked out, means 
well, rote, rota, rotate means to rotate. So there are three kinds of motion in the universe, direct, spiral, and rotating. Three kinds of God energy. Does that translate direct. to the activity of the planets in their direct, uh, retrograde, and stationary motions? Um, yeah, 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 it all does. Because um, those retrogrades, everything is happening via the force of magnetism. There's only one force in the universe. It's magnetism. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. We call it electricity or electromagnetism, but magnetism means to move. It is the principle of force. And in that principle, in that cycle and epicycle of all planets, there is a breathing where they go fast, direct, and where they go slow, they retrograde. Okay? So this is the breath. This is red shift, blue shift. <sighs> A breathing, okay? Wow. So. Wow, that's powerful. That's powerful. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we have the two co-eternal principles, and that is <clears throat> magnetism to move is force and motion. Okay? See the word motion? There you see the word tom. Mm -hmm. Okay, all is, all is atom. Mm -hmm. So what we have is, this is the second principle, this is magnetism. Above magnetism is dielectricity. And below these two is electricity. L is bell, is bail. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel. Is the, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the god of beauty. Bello in Italian. Bella. Bello. Notice the word bell as in ding dong bell. Mm -hmm. Bell. Because electricity, beautiful, bellicose. Warmongering, mm -hmm. ballistic. Ballistic means to throw out mm -hmm. like a missile, mm -hmm. because that's that's ex exactly what um, um, Bello in in the word hyperboloid. The ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is the same word as hyperbole. Mm -hmm. See, when you exaggerate an expression, you are expre you are speaking hyperbolically. Mm -hmm. Well, that ball, that's where we get ballistic from, because it means in Greek, bali, bali, I think it is. Um, let me see how you write it in Greek. I think that's right, Bali. So this bull, this is when, when someone speaks bull, bullshit, mm -hmm. they ask hyperbolically. And that's where the hyperbole, the hourglass, that's what the hyperboloid is. That's the bull, that's the torus, it's the donut shape. All donuts, all atoms, have this donut shape. Okay? They all... Um, let me set that back up a bit more. Okay. So, very important to remember, the bull, the blue, B-L-U, is this in the middle. That's Eve. Adam, the red, 
Adam is this part, the Taurus, which by its own by its own wording tells you is the red part of the apple that they both ate. So there's your apple core. And so red and blue, Adam and Eve, really become the lamb and the you. The lamb and the you. Hmm. And they and they are the rulers and the owners of the Tauruses. This is why this is why Jupiter Thor mm -hmm. is always um, seducing Europa and women on a bull. bull. Mm. So Ju Jupiter has his bulls. Krishna has his cows. What is Krishna doing all the time? Cow well, he's cowherd. Mm -hmm. Jesus is a shepherd. Mm -hmm. Christ is a shepherd. Krishna is a cowherd. Well, well, this is the Lamb of God and the Shepherd of God and the cowherd of God. It's here, This the Taurus. This is the only thing that exists. Your body is like this. The sun is like this. Wow. The earth is like this. Solar systems are like this. Universes are like this. Galaxies, they say a galaxy is like an accretion disk here in the middle, and it has jets going out this way, jets going down below, like a gyroscope. Wow. Something is happening here. And something is coming out here and here. And so that's where you have uh, Christ being the shepherd would be the lamb. And then Krishna, uh, the cow herder, would be the, the bull, Taurus. Now, you know, I always say that two things uh, Taurus is a bull with. We can always hit a bullseye and we know bullshit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. So what we have, going back to these three principles, one, two, three, this dielectricity is inertia, and acceleration. So, Inertia is the opposite principle to motion, mm -hmm. okay? Rest and motion. Force is the opposite principle to acceleration, okay? And acceleration, so if I get a magnet, I get a magnet and I hold it in my hand like, say, like this, and, and here is a, uh, an iron paper clip, and I bring that magnet down close to the paper clip. Eventually, no force, mm -hmm. the paper clip jumps up mm -hmm. via, not a force, Motion. via acceleration. It accelerates mm. toward the magnet. That's not force. Okay? So these are the two co-eternal conjugate principles of the universe. Inertia and acceleration, force and motion, all is atum, magnetism. Everything comes from here. Time, magnitude, radiation, space. I think all of, um, I think of the, the, the yin and the yang and also the two pillars of Solomon's temple. Uh, Boaz, you know, uh, uh, movement or, or motion and yakin, inertia. Wow. That's Boaz. That's Jacken. Okay, Jack, Jacken. Well, who's Jacken? <laughs> the English flag. What's that all about? That's called the Union Jack. Wow. Jack is Jacob. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jacob is Israel. Mm -hmm. 
Isis, Ra, and El become Isis, Krishna, mm -hmm. Radharani, His magnetism, mm -hmm. dielectricity, magnetism, electricity, Rama, L is Ra, El, Krishna, Radharani, Balarama, dielectricity, Magnetism radiating Ra, the sun, moon, sun, Saturn, electricity, Saturn. So Jacob, the union of Jacob is here. This is the union of Jacob, right there, because that's the equinox. Mm -hmm. That's the equinox of March 21st and September 21st. Here, this is the summer solstice. Here, this is the winter solstice. So as the sun goes from Capricorn to Aries, to Cancer, to Libra, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer. This is the Tropic of Cancer. This is the Tropic of Capricorn. This is the equator. This is Greenwich Mean Time, and these guys, these guys control all time on what they on the round Earth disc starting at Greenwich. Okay, so that's the Union Jack. It's the same Jack as Jack. Be nimble, Jack. Be quick. quick. Jack jumped over the candlesticks. Candle mm -hmm. What's the candlesticks? The One candlestick, two candlesticks. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlesticks, the equinoxes. Wow. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went, climbed up the hill. Jill is the moon, by the way. Uh, so we've got the sun. Jack and Jill. They climb the mountain to fetch a bale of water, cancer, cancer water, cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and Jack and Jill come tumbling down together, don't they? Yes. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a bale of water. Jack came down. How does it go? Um, <laughs> no, I can't remember. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta look it up now. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Oh, man. Oh, that's right. Jack fell down and broke his crown. Wow. That's the part I was missing. Okay, mm -hmm. now. Okay. Uh, it's very important that we, we, we pay attention to, uh, to the details um, because that's how good research happens. It, it happens when you pay attention. So um, Jack fell down and broke his crown. See, the sun has got a crest. But that's part <laughs> of either... Uh... Leo or Aries, his 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 uh his domicile is exaltation. Yeah, yeah, because when the sun. Okay, so if we do the um. There's the equator. There's the Tropic of Cancer. There's the Tropic of Capricorn. There's Aries, where everything begins. Everything starts here. Everything. March the twenty-first. Or. 6 a.m. Okay, so if we put 6 a.m. here, 12 midday here, 6 p.m., 12 midnight there. That's how all cycles work, okay? So when Jack, see, 12 midnight, midnight is down here. So in Capricorn, here's, Aries is here, Capricorn is here. When the sun hits the 21st of December, it's got nothing to do other than to climb, like a goat does, and waxes. Mm -hmm. When it gets to here, it's got, it can't go higher. It's got to go back down. It's forced to go back down, balance itself here, and then get unbalanced again in winter, summer, winter. Okay? So, Jack 
climbs up the hill to fetch a bale of water. Jill follows him. Jack fell down and broke his crown. At St. Tom's Day. Mm-hmm. 21st of December, St. Tom's Day. All is a Tom, the tomb of winter. Which is also and, Saturn. Uh, and I like how you've got that 12. Looks like the looks like the symbol for Saturn. Um, the 12th, where? At the bottom. You have 12 there right above where it says uh, Tom. It looks like the glyph for Saturn. That's the glyph for Saturn, okay? So when we get the Hebrew word, the letter L, mm-hmm. it looks like this, Lamed. Lamed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lamb. Ahmed is Adam. All is Atum. Lamed is the twelfth letter. It's L. This is L, the number 12. The wow. power of 12 is the letter L. And Saturn is the ruler. Because when you do this, so that's Lamed. When you do that, that's Saturn. Mm. Okay. So, so when the sun breaks his crown, the moon also has to wax and wane. And she also goes tumbling after Jill, Jack. Mm-hmm. What about Jack and the Beanstalk? Well, Jack and the Beanstalk is the chrism, the beautiful crystic fluids. That's if you don't ejaculate and waste all your life force and mm-hmm. become an old man at the age of 30 like <laughs> Cullen Smith. Uh, looks looks grey in the face and looks like very, very, very sick and diseased and very unhealthy individual because that's what happens when you ejaculate your Christ force. So that Jack... If you lift that or jack it up, if you rather than ejaculate, <laughs> rather than ejaculating Jack, if you lift up Jack in his beanstalk, the Kundalini along the spine, wow. Jack will eventually he will go to the land of giants, giants where he will remember his ancient glory and he will find golden eggs wow. there, the pineal plant. Jack, Jack, Jack. Everywhere you see Jack, you're talking about the sun. the sun. There's no one else you're talking about. Doesn't matter whether it's Little Red Riding Hood. That's the sun. And I just want to just to put out here just for uh just for the record. It goes. Uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Up Jack got and home did trot as fast as he could caper, and went to bed and bound his head with vinegar and brown paper. Then Jill came in, and she did grin to see Jack's paper plaster. Her mother whipped her across the knee for laughing at Jack's disaster. Wow. It's the sun and the moon. It is. Don't don't go looking for a historical Jack or a historical Jill or Humpty Dumpty or Santa Claus or Jesus or Osiris or any of those characters. They're all here. All characters, archetypes, gods, demons – they're all here. Nowhere else. You'll never find any of these creatures that are written about in any of our sacred books anywhere other than the ecliptic in the sky and the stars behind them because that's where our stories come from. And we are the actors Hmm. In this Taurus universe, Taurus bull, red and blue. At Taurus, acceleration in Taurus fields. Wow. Hey? You said at Taurus, I'm thinking acceleration and Taurus fields. AC. Yeah, exactly. Hey, man, just, just give me one tick. I have to do something. Okay. Talk away. All right. I just think this is just amazing. Um, Santos, you've brought a lot of clarity and a lot of content in a short amount of time. Uh, and you've really bridged the gap. Um, talk about syncretism at its best. Um, I, I also notice here that uh, when you look at the sine wave, the ecliptic here, the analema as it were, you still see that, that snake, that serpent, the Ouroboros, the Kundalini, 
um, the snake in the Garden of Eden, however you want to look at it. You look at serpents uh, of the constellation um, Scorpio, uh, one of the deacons of the constellation Scorpio. I find this just very, very fascinating. I love wars. This is amazing stuff. This is great stuff. Any questions in the chat while Santos is uh, taking a quick relief there? I think everybody is I think everybody is floored. Okay. Yes, okay, Star Lady two thousand eight. Go right ahead, what's your question? Tim, okay, so you just arrived. All right. I'm back. All right, so we have a question in the chat that says, how does this information affect people born under the star sign Taurus? Well, okay, well, we just learned that Taurus is in the Bible in Deuteronomy 32, um, where God is called the rock, the Tor, the Saw. Okay, so... It is, it is the, uh, one of the most powerful signs. It is the rock. It's the number two. Mm -hmm. Okay, just remember, two. You can't escape this. Um, whether, whether you look at um, the B for bull, it's, it's two. T always comes to two. In Hebrew, it's the uh, 22nd letter, the oh. last letter of the alphabet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tav. Which this is the tav, by the way. The cross. Tav. Tav is another way of saying the cross, the cross. letter T. It's the it's the cross. In Greek, they they have stavros. Stavros is the cross. Okay. So the tav, the letter T, being the twenty second letter, reduces to four, and four should you, we should be able to easily work out how two and four relate to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, where that is where about you, when you mentioned uh, about the Hebrew, my mind went to uh, I'm thinking about the Alpha and the Omega. I'm thinking about Aleph and Tav. Aleph means ox, okay, or bull, and then Tav again means cross, Taurus. Uh, this is this is this is I love it. I love it. Well, well, when you do this, when you put the ox, so first I'll get back to this. Um, uh, God, Theos, is always with a T, or di Dios, Dieu, um, Dio, with a D. Well, the D is the fourth letter. Mm. See, so, so T and D are interchangeable because of the four and the two. Mm -hmm. So all of these words, B, Bhagavan, God, Theos, Dio, to, uh, um, you know, uh, divine, uh, deific, mm -hmm. deify. All the God words, they all they all have these three letters in them. It's either a B, Bhagavan. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's either a T, because it's all two. Taurus is the powerhouse. These people have got um uh, what's the word? Um, just, just say we're all around awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are um Firmly established, if they they're solid, they um, uh, they can be stubborn like the bull. They can be firm. They have a good earthy foundation about the way they do things. Very practical, um, very skilled in practice. Good singers. Taurus rules the voice. The best singers in the world have always been Taurine. Always um, it rules the, the the lower the cerebellum. The beautiful man mind. This is the God mind, Aries cerebrain, and the cerebellum, the cerebellum, ruled by Taurus, is the man mind. It's the heart of man. So their heart. They love to philosophize. They love to sing. To use their mouth is is what they're good at. Okay, and and they can on the negative side, they can talk bull. <laughs> they can talk bullshit. That's true. <laughs> okay. So, but if you look at this. 
you look at the um, the cross quarter days, so that's May Day, May the first, Life Mass Day, August first, Halloween Day, November first, Groundhog's Day, Feb first. So that's what we call the cross quarter day. Okay. So the other days. Beltane. Beltane, yeah. Beltane, May 1st, Bell, Ball, Bull. Yeah, Beltane. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's exactly where Taurus is. The ox. So if you look at the, the eight-spoked wheel, there's the cardinal cross. Mm -hmm. The cross, uh, the, the, um, the cross, the Celtic cross. And this is the St. Andrew's cross, which is hmm. the two together. These ones here signify the cardinal signs, mm -hmm. Can Cancer Capricorn, and the Equinox cardinal signs, Aries. Aries. Well, this happens to be Taurus. Here. Right there. So you can see how the ox, the ox is embedded in the St. Andrew's Cross, which Taurus is the ruler thereof, and Aries is the ruler of this one. So the Lamb rules the Cardinal Cross, the Celtic Cross here. The Bull rules the St. Andrew's Cross Quarter Days. So you see how the Bull, and also in May, magnetism, May is another way of saying magnetism, Mm -hmm. Which is, mm -hmm. as you said, bell tame, mm -hmm. bale, mm -hmm. which which you pointed out is actually um, uh, um, this is the the, the time when uh, Mos Moses received the Torah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the Taurus, mm -hmm. in in May. Mm -hmm. And see, I'm looking at this, and uh, you're talking about St. Andrew's Cross, and the way you highlighted that sliver for Taurus. If you take that and you look at your dotted lines, it shows me the onk, okay? It shows me the onk. I look at it again, and I see this eight-spoke wheel. I think of an actual wheel that you hook up to a cart pulled by an ox. Yes, yes, that is the ox. The ox is the symbol of this wheel. That's why Krishna is a good cow herd, and cows and gopis are always dealing with cows because they are these cows it's not talking about physical cows it's talking about transcendental cows wow. nothing is physical literal historical mundane in the scriptures in the scriptures let me repeat nothing is physical literal historical factual mundane in the scriptures it is all atemporal transcendental spiritual truth okay. it's all true it's not fact mm -hmm. people are looking for facts where there are none, because because the Gospels have been there since time immemorial. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, bless this couch that I lie on, did not write. There was no historical Matthew who sat down and said, oh, I remember what Jesus said 40 years ago. I'll <laughs> pen that down now, because he was too stupid to write anything, wasn't he? God's son comes for a visit <laughs> once in a trillion years hangs around for 33 years, couldn't put pen to paper. Wow. Well, that's not very smart, is it? Can make the universe but can't write. I, Paul, <laughs> me, Matthew, will have to write everything, if I remember it, that is, that the Lord said. So I'll just, none of that happened. Wow. It's not historical factual, mundane. It's supernatural, not mundane. It's transcendental history. It's true history. But it didn't happen on this plane of history, <laughs> you know. Wow. So, um, yeah, all of this has to be corrected. And I'm here to correct it. I'm here to correct all the fallacious reasoning that dumb, uninspired human beings who are busy ejaculating with Cullen Smith um, and just doing bullshit, really. Um, so I'm here to correct all that's... that's um, that is wrong and most of the churches and most of the pseudoscientists out there are teaching wrong things because they don't know how to do this they don't pay attention <clears throat> they're too busy <coughs> you know um <clears throat> offering their ejaculatory services and so 
what this does is it creates the prodigal son mentality. Uh, oh, let's just um, hang on, boys. Let's just hang back here and sow some wild seed, shall we? We can uh, we can um, um, postpone this, you know, raising the chrism and returning back to heaven. Let's just hang about here with all the demons in hell and and just, uh, you know, waste our life force, our seed. This is so disrespectful to the creator to do such a thing. And this is how you get condoms full of life force all around the world, men who can't con contain, they're incontinent, they can't contain their own ejaculatory fluids, so they have to wear plastic. Wow. They have to, they have to make love with a condom on. I mean, why would you use such a disgusting thing? And then because because they are not responsible men and can't control their members, um, then if they don't want to wear a condom, they force their women to take the pill and um, that will destroy all of their DNA, change their hormones and, and ruin their lives because they are incontinent. They're ejaculators. Unwanted pregnancies unwanted babies, um, uh, filth, all kinds of filth comes from sexual practices where men just ejaculate their life force. They think it's clever when they they fall asleep after ejaculating and they get all tired and, and they think that that's good exercise. What they don't realise is the reason they're tired and they fall asleep is because they've wasted who knows how much time that they could be living by saving their fluids. By being healthy, this is how all the um, you know aesthetics and and, um, and and gurus reach to the age of 900, 600, 400, easily, easily. There's one secret: keep your fluid. It's your fluid. You don't waste it. You don't put it into plastic condoms, like I suppose Cullen is doing. He's teaching all the young boys around the planet to do that anyway, just to ejaculate into a little bit of rubber, because it's no use trying to master this. There's only two techniques that you need to master to prevent the ejaculation. Two techniques. One is breathing and one is by tightening your, your lower muscles. That's it. That's how a man becomes the master of the dragon and goes back to heaven by not being a prodigal son, sowing his seed with prostitutes, a la Cullen Smith, the Pope of um, Panty Prophets. He's the Pope. He's actually the, yeah, he's, he's the panty pope, not the anti pope in history. You know, the anti pope. Right, he is right. the panty pope <laughs> of all the panty prophets who are what? False prophets. They're demon worshippers and they teach how to ejaculate your life force, disrespect God, dumping it into condoms, and if not dumping it into condoms, telling their stupid partners to take the pill or to take this or to take that or anything because. Anything other than mastering two breathing techniques so that you don't have to ejaculate and you can have sex 10 times longer, not just the Cullen Smith 30-second job, <laughs> um, and you can finally please a woman. You don't have to hear her say, oh, that was really nice, love. I really enjoyed that falsely because <laughs> you didn't enjoy. How can a woman enjoy 30 seconds? They get started. They start after three hours. So these young boys, not only are they disrespecting the creator, they are throwing away their lives into rubber condoms because they're too stupid and too unwilling and perverted and, and, and deranged and deviant of heart to learn the proper sciences. And that's what I teach. I teach only the right-hand path. These guys are the left-hand tantric pathers. They teach the left-hand tantric path, which is pure evil, which means their kundabatha is pointing downward and their kundalini, this is what a drag queen means. This is why when you listen to uh, Truth Heresy and Christopher Lord, he sounds like a drag queen with his delicious voice. That's because they do so much ejaculating that their voice starts sounding like the drag queens because the drag queens, they look, you know, like homosexual on steroids. They're another level of homosexual. They're real. Drag queens are real. That's because their dragon, their kundabatha, is not pointing upwards. Because of their vile left-hand tantric ejaculations, their kundalini and kundabatha energy is out of sync. One is facing upward, the kundalini, and the kundabatha is going down into the ground. 
okay? And and hence, they, they sound like drag queens. Cullen does. He's demonised. Definitely... I know, I know the look of someone that's demonised. You can see it in the face. He is, he's probably got about six or 7,000 demons in his one body. Wow. Now I can tell because, yeah, you can tell. Um, because you can tell simply by the way they are seeking attention, by using other people's name. Every time uh, Danny Wilton make, or Christopher Lord or Cullen Smith make a video, they put my name in the video so they can get hits. Otherwise, without my name and without the word syncretism, Cullen loves to use the word syncretism. He's not a syncretist, but he uses the word. That's fair. That's fair enough. You can, you know, you can use, um, you know, I've, I've used the word um, brain surgeon. I'm not a brain surgeon, but I can use the word. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so it's, it's, that's fine. It's more beyond, is not just the fact that they have missed it or that they have, are teaching something false, but these people are actually demonized. They have devils that live in them that cause them to teach and spew out this information. It's yes, it's it's the devils, the demons inside them that are seeking attention. They are demonized. Without the demons, they wouldn't be bothered. Christopher Lord wouldn't be bothered making six or seven movies about me every day, watching everything I do, ignoring his girlfriend and ejaculating in his panties whilst making movies about me so, so he wouldn't so do that if you said to us if you had this platform and you have spoken to them how would you address how would you suggest that they get rid of their demons and they can uh, fully embrace the path of syncretism first and foremostly they need to become vegetarian and stop ejaculating that's it that's what porphyry would have said the greatest neoplatonist who ever lived astrologer vegetarian non-ejaculator and flat earther, same with Yamblichus, astrologer, vegetarian, non-ejaculator, right-hand tantric path, mm -hmm. and flat earthers. All the Neoplatonists were this. Just watch the Neoplatonists, copy them, because they were our, the, the true Western spiritual school. Otherwise, go to the Hindu, as I've done. I've got my tilak on. Um, mm -hmm. This is a holy day, so I'm wearing the tilak for fasting and for holy observances, you can go to the East. But if you want to stay with the West, the Neoplatonists, especially Porphyry, Yamblichus, Salustius, and Dionysius, they are the ones who expounded God and creation and magnetism, and they were vegetarian, non-ejaculators, astrologers, and flat earthers. And that's the things that I do, the true things. So... Um, They've got a lot of learning to do and they've got a lot of growing up to do if they want to stop being prodigal sons and leading others to hell and the left-hand tantric path and staying down here. This is why. This is how you get to stay down here, by ejaculations. Because you, you, haven't, you haven't got enough. You see, in the Bible, there's the parable of the five um, wise virgins. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. and the five mm -hmm. foolish virgins. Mm -hmm. What distinguished the foolish virgins from the wise virgins? Well, it was the extra oil they had in their receptacles. Wow. That, that oil is the chrism that you need to raise, as Jesus said to Nicodemus, unless you raise the son of man, manna, the oil, the manna from heaven, unless you raise the son of man, you will not be born again. So okay. they don't want to be born again. We had a question in the chat that said, do you believe in reincarnation? Well, of course, because how did we get here if we didn't reincarnate? Because in our atemporal um, transcendental existence, we are immortal. Mm -hmm. There is no death there. But in these bodies, in the electrical, physical world where we are manifesting in the world of phenomena, these bodies die. So this, this, this body you see, this collection of molecules and atoms that you call Santos Bonacci, mm -hmm. this is just one acting part of my multidimensional being. And so in that multi... So this body is like a car. You get in a car, you go to the shops, you get out of the car. You only use the car to go to the shops, right? Wow. It's a vehicle. 
So this vehicle that I'm wearing, this cloak, is just temporal. It's not atemporal. But I, my spirit and soul, the spirit soul that I am, Hari Bol, is immortal. But I will reincarnate until I stop eating pig's bums, become vegetarian, stop ejaculating, wasting my life force. And this is the two things that the prodigal son was famous for. Sleeping with the prostitutes, ejaculating. Eating with, eating with the swine, a glutton, eating flesh, mm -hmm. and drinking, um, and, and drinking uh, intoxicating li liquor with the, um, the bibers of intoxicating liquor. So these are the things that we have to do. It's simple. Stop murdering animals and eating that, their murder. Stop murdering yourself by ejaculating. You are murdering yourself and your partner. There's no woman out there. Any woman who seduces a man to ejaculate, ejaculate is a seductress and an evil wow. woman. Wow. This woman, this woman, you should not go anywhere near. She should, she should be a good woman like Isis and encourage her man to keep his life force. This is a woman who will respect her man. No woman... No decent woman respects a man who ejaculates. Oh, they might have fun with him. Oh, yeah, they'll do all their little sexy tricks with that man. But it, ultimately, they will leave that man out of disrespect. Wow. They will only respect a man who, who keeps his fluids and knows how to restrain himself and knows how to master the dragon and to have loving sex with a woman that will please her whether it's 10 minutes or an hour or 10 hours, as the woman wishes. But she is the one who, who um, governs the, the, all of the processes of the sexual act. The man is the actor who must come with, um, you know, must come with restraint. He, you can't afford to be incontinent and just ejaculate all over Santos, the woman. I'm working on, on holding out for 10 hours, brother. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I can last about 10 hours, okay. Um, 10 hours, that's a good stint. A woman will respect you after that, as long as you do not waste any of your seed, brother. I got you. <clears throat> Let me kind of transition back here, and we'll open it up for any last-minute questions here and, um, in the chat. I do want to say all of you who are who are here, thank you so much for uh, participating and for your patience and taking notes and your hearts and so forth and shares. I want to open up... Um, let me see here. If there are any questions in the chat. Somebody let me know what the live count is, please, or what the uh, total viewer count is. I can't see on my tablet. So, um... Here are some more words. Okay. Can I share my Can I share my screen with you? Yes, yes, you certainly can. You certainly can. Let me. Uh... Hot diggity dog, hot diggity dog. Since we've got no questions there, um, have a look at this. Can you see my? Um... Yep, I'm about to bring you. Uh, bring you. Let me know when you can see my screen. Yeah, we can see it. Go ahead, Santos. Okay, look at all these other words. Belt comes from bull. Okay, the belt of the zodiac where you will find the bull. Boil, temperature, tem, all these are tem. Boil, the temperature, hot and cold, red and blue of the Taurus field, is boiling. Wow. To blow, here, what's this blow? Well, we already remembered that, uh, learnt that ballistic comes from Bali, the Greek word, to thrust, ballistically, to blow. These are all bull words. Dumbbell, what's, dumb is all is adum, and bell is the bull, because mm. there's always two twin parts of the bull. So here we have the twins, and this is the, in the middle you see the hyperboloid, okay, and on the outside is the donut, Taurus. So these are hyperboloid Tauruses, which I shorten to Taurus bulls, mm. okay, or bull Tauruses. So Taurus bull, 
bull taurus. And these are all the words that come from them. Have a look at this. From, from Taurus bull comes turbulence, table, stable, turbine, travel. Taurus bull, travel. They're traveling atoms. Terrible, trouble, double trouble. Remember, the D and the T are interchangeable. Double trouble. Bubble, babble, Bible. See, this is the Bible, the two bulls, the two Tauruses. One is red, one is blue. One is the Old Testament, red, sh Bull shedding crap, a lot of blood. bullshit. <laughs> yeah, well, the Torah, the Old Testament is red, Torah, Taurus, red, and sh full of blood shedding. Mm. And then the New Testament is blue because blue is love, L. Blue, and it's also the love. water. Isn't it also the water and baptized? And there goes another B word. So you got the Old Testament, red and blood, and the New Testament, blue and water for baptizing. Wow. Yes, brother. It's red and blue. Everything is red and blue. You must see everything as the sine wave and as Taurus bulls. That's it. Once you learn how to do this, you are the master of the universe because the universe does not do anything else. You don't have to chase, chase particles. They don't exist. There's no photon particle that ever existed. There's no electron particle or proton particle that ever existed. There's no muons. There's no pooons. They just don't exist. Okay, so poo particles called pooons. I think they're going to invent that one soon and people will swallow that. I'm sure um, Cullen and Danny and Christopher, the trinity of panty uh, fairies or panty popes or prophets or whatever they think they are, um, I'm sure that they will um, they'll work it out eventually. Here's another word, bottom, bo, bull, tom. <laughs> well, because when you hit the bottom and materialize, you have come into a bull torus, a bottom, turbulence, you know, uh, it's all there. Look at these. This look at the um, the bull Taurus words. Butter. Well, what are the gods always doing? Have a look at these gods. Let's have a look at these gods. Can you see this picture? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got you. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, see, the gods are forever churning the milk ocean. And what do you make with milk? Well, milk is like Krishna. From Krishna comes Vishnu, Shiva, Brahma, Jehovah. All Christ, Jesus, well, it's all the same thing anyway, but it's like the milk. First you get butter from milk, bull taurus, ghee, curds, cream, yogurt, cheese, ice cream, chocolate, coffee, cakes, biscuits, custard, custard, whey. This is what the gods are doing. Look at this. There's, here's Krishna and, and Rama. What are they doing? They've got their hands in the butter, in the ghee, the milk. And they're bulls and cows making more milk in more Taurus fields. So if we go back to these words, look at these words. Better, bull Taurus. Yes, because the Tauruses are making the world better, more beautiful. Batter. When you mix milk with the batter, you get a bull Taurus. You can even make something bitter. Potter. What is a potter? Well, he's a bull Taurus maker. Buttress. Bull Taurus. What does a buttress do? It supports because the bull Taurus is strong. It's the rock. Tros. <laughs> Saw in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4. Saw. Funny that they should call God there. Saw. Wow. Well, well, see, this is the bottle. Look at the word betray because the bull Taurus is betraying its original home. So it, all betrayal is happening in this phenomenal world through bull Tauruses. And they look like bottles and they battle. And here's the French word for um, to beat, batu. Well, that's ball, bull, Taurus. To be beaten, to beat. And I also see the word aten in B10. <laughs> yeah, aten. How about the name Butros, Butros, Gali? Butros means Petros, which means rock. Mm -hmm. Well, Tros, didn't we just see that Tros or Tsor in Deuteronomy means the rock, means the Taurus field? 
It's all there, guys. Bullion. What's gold bullion? Because the, the, the Aaron's bull, Aaron's calf is gold, and the lion is gold. So you make gold bull lion, which is wow. called bullion. <laughs> wow. Mate, I could go on and on. Look at this bulb. A bulb is what? It's a torus field. And you see these beautiful ejaculations of green um, uh, photosynthesis here. See these plants, these purple. Look at the purple of these plants. That's really the, the, the crown chakra. So you can see how um, um, Jack now has broken his crown, wow. his purple uh, crown chakra, and he's just had an orgasm, which is what a bulb does. It's a torus field. You can see the torus hiding behind it. You can see the torus hiding behind all trees. You can see, uh, if you go back here, what is what is your um, uterus? The uterus looks like what? A torus. A torus field. Yeah, because it is a uterus. And then you acquire a torso, and that gives you a tora, which wow. other people, an aura. And so if you have a look at um, your, um, your body, for instance, uh, your thorax, have a look at this. Well, what's this? Well, this is the shape of your torso, thorax, because it's a torus field. It's a torso. Have a look at all of these pictures, guys. Please understand what you're looking at here. Domes, clocks, bells, bail, glockenspiel. To play the bell is to play the electrical sound of matter. There it is, the bell, bellus, beautiful blue, golden tauruses, apis, the bull, apples, the apples of Apollo, the arbors of Apollo. It's all apples, tauruses. It's all the one thing, guys. Here's Frank Chester who discovered the bell, the um, the heptahedron or the chestahedron. He's discovered it. There it is. It's a bell. He's found that it. it's in your heart. It's The heart is a bell. Everything is bell. Look at this, the Nazca lines, centipedes. They're all doing this hypertrochoid, hyperboloid, hyperboloid torus shape. Here it is. It's everywhere. Look at this Ken Wheeler's... Um, depictions photos of magnetic energy in the middle is a uh the dielectric inertial plane and then you have the two eyes of the two poles red shift blue shift wow. of every magnet and that's how birds come into shape <clears throat> here's krishna <coughs> here's the new zealand version <coughs> here is the um the taurus there it is there taurus field wow <coughs> Excuse me. So everything comes from this. Here is Krishna. Look at Krishna's face here. There's the dielectric inertial plane straight down the middle. Here is here is the Krishna here is called um, Jagannath, another name of Krishna. They're all names of Krishna, Jesus, Christ. Here is the electron. Here is the hydrogen atom. You can see the torus field. There's no, there's no particles. The, this is a pulse wave electron. This is a pulse wave hydrogen atom. Your body is atom, anatomy, anatomy, and it's a pulse wave. There's no particles in your body. You won't find any particles, gold, zinc, hydrogen, carbon. It's all waves, okay? Hmm. Here is the Tav, the Stavros, the torso, Taurus, Stavros, Steve, Eve. It's all the same shit. Rotate Torah, rotate. Tesla said, my greatest discovery was the magnetic rotating field. Rotate Torah, rota. Mag means to move. It's all there. <coughs> bulk. Why do you have something and you call it, if you have a lot of it, you call it oh, bulk? Because yeah, mm -hmm. it's the bull. Tumbler. <laughs> Tumble, wow. Taurus bull. Yeah, they are tumbular bells, tubular bells, Taurus bulls. 
to tumble. Everything is tumbling. The only atom that does not tumble is the hydrogen atom. It spins. It rotates. All the others rotate and tumble. Okay? Now, let me finish with this. Okay. This is for all the intelligent ones out there. I'll go back to sharing my screen. Can you see me? Yep, gotcha. Oh, great. So let's finish with this. So when you have a bull market, you got to put your, uh, your camera back on there. Camera? Yeah, it's showing your uh, your screen. You got to stop screen sharing. Okay. No, I don't want that. I want Skype preferences. Can you see me now? Yeah, we can see, but we're seeing your screen. You're still showing your screen. Oh, okay. I've got to stop sharing screen. Yeah. All righty. Can you see me now? We see your picture. Now you got to put your camera on. <laughs> that should be on now. Yeah, there it is. All right, we got you. Okay, give me a few secs. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. All right. All right, man. Wow. And, and you know that I'm looking at this. Uh, not only did we notice the the onk, but also the onk is Venus, which again rules Taurus. And then I look at this uh, the eight spoke wheel. And I see the word ox in it. I see the circle O, and I see the X in it. O X ox, um, the ox gold. Wow and wow. I'm am seeing Taurus everywhere now. <laughs> I'm seeing Taurus everywhere. What a presentation to to bring on the show of a Taurus. Came in late. What is he talking about? Uh, he's talking about the Taurus fields. And um, all is a tomb about the languages that we're all speaking the same thing. It's good stuff. You, can you hear me now? Is my sound still breaking up? Okay, I'm back. All right. Can you hear me, Santos? Yep. Okay, great. How much time do we have? We got as much time as you got, brother. Okay, man. So. There's the transcendent, incommensurate, uh, point non-specific point, if you want to call it a point. It has no locus, no topos. No, no locus. <laughs> no topos. Wow. It's everywhere. It's God's, it's God's intelligent energy, magnetism, dielectricity. It's all over. It's, it's the magnet, the matrix, 10, 10, net, all is a 10. The magnet of consciousness, it's the matrix. God is magnetism. It's an intelligent, loving, personal force. It's not... It, there's, you, back of that, that energy is the person of God. Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. That's why his name is Ishwara Paramakrishna, the supreme personality, the supreme controller. Ishwara, in the West, that, that's Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Parama would mean the Ram, Rama. So Ishwara. Parama. Krishna, Yeshua, the Lamb, the Ram, Christ. It's it's all the same stuff. There's there's no difference. There's we don't have to kill American Indians and Australian Aboriginals because they don't worship Jesus and Christ that we do. Because everyone does. Mm. Everyone. Does. Wow. Everyone worships 
this, these principles, cosmic intelligence, God, God force, magnetism, it, the scriptures, see, God is personal, but the scriptures are not personal. There's no persons in the scripture. Wow. This is, this is what you call um, anthropo, anthrop, anthropomorphisms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, or you um, um, personify God. <clears throat> God is already a person, but in the scriptures, when they personify God, that's, that's, that's a different kind of personification. That's, um, that's for, um, for learning purposes. But it's not true. It's, I mean, it's true. It's not factual. Mm. Okay, so let's go on with this. Okay. So what do we learn from the Taurus field? We learn everything. So everything is from here. These are the two tablets. That's the hyperboloid bowl. You can see the bowl here. Mm -hmm. That's a bowl. Okay, and that's the Taurus, the red and the blue. Wow. So when you when you do this properly, this is how you do energy properly. It, energy is a twelveness. If you don't know this, you will forever remain ignorant until you learn this. This is the most important thing I will ever share with anyone. All energy is a twelveness. It's not just positive and negative. It's not just a two thing. Because most people, electricians, clever people, they see that as positive and that as negative. No, there's 12 things going on here. There's much more than that. There's this. This is the most important thing you will ever learn. Nothing is more important than this. Nothing. Aries. Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. And so what you're learning is with the Taurus field, everything is going up. It reaches wave amplitude, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn here down the bottom. And so... When you have a bull market, in the market you have a bull market or a bear market. Now the bull market is always when the market is climbing. So right. where's the bull? Well, the bull is on the climbing side. This is the climbing side, waxing. Mm -hmm. Waxing. Taurus. Bull, 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 bull market, bull market, bear market. Where Cancer. are the bears? Cancer. Cancer. Ur Ursa Minor, Ursa Major. Big bear, little bear. Bear market. Mm. But where else is the bear? Where else? There's another bear. There's two more bears. They're all on this side. Two more bears. Um, I don't know that. I'll give, you, I'll give you a hint. Okay. Uh, speaker? Close. No, it's Close. the other one. Mm. It's in booties. Virgo booties. The constellation booties. It's called Arcturus. Oh, yeah, the bull. That's right. That's right. The Maseroth, Arcturus. Joe chapter 30. That's right. Mm -hmm. Bull. Bull. Bull market. Mm -hmm. Bear. Bear, 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 bear market. Where, this is how you want bull. And what's the fourth bear? Um, Ursa Minor, Ursa Major, Actorus. So there was four. Okay. Um, it's 
It's on this side. I, I can't remember right now, but there, there is another bear. Um, next, I'll get that for you next time. Okay. Um, so the, the the point is here. So that's that's that star is the red star on the Californian um, Republic flag, and the bear. The bear underneath it that is representing the the brightest star in the northern hemisphere, Arcturus, red. Um, this is the fourth brightest star in the sky, but the first brightest in the northern hemisphere, the bear. Hmm. And so, and so, this waning from Cancer down to Capricorn has always been associated with the falling and waning of the bear, because wow. the bears. Because these two bears, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper, they are always pointing downwards mm -hmm. at, mm -hmm. at the bear market. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so this this Taurus bull is showing you how things wax, the sun waxes and the sun wanes. This is how energy works. It's a twelveness. First energy is plasma, Aries, fire. Then it is solid, Taurus, earth. Then it is gaseous, Gemini, air. Then it is liquid, cancer, water. Mm -hmm. And then it repeats, Leo, fire, Virgo, earth, Libra, air, Scorpio, water. Then it repeats, Sagittarius, fire, Capricorn, earth, Aquarius, air, Pisces, water. And then the Taurus, every energy form, every thought form, every particle in existence, every emotion form, every wave that has ever rippled in this here universe has started here at the center of the Taurus field, started in plasma Aries and finished in Pisces. Aries is the Lamb of God, Jesus. Pisces is the fisher of men, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And in here, are all the other Jesuses. Jesus the twin, Jesus the scarab, Jesus the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus the bread of life, mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus the just, the one who balances and judges correctly, mm -hmm. Jesus the one who is as wise as serpent and cautious as doves, wow. Jesus, Jesus is the one, Sagittarius, the one who is delivering us from the wicked one, Jesus, the scapegoat of Israel. Jesus, the son of man. Jesus, the fisherman. Jesus, the rock. Taurus. Tzur. The rock. For all of you uh, churchgoers out there, once more, because I get so much pleasure in teaching the truth, and I want to share the truth with you. Go to Deuteronomy 32.4 and see the name of God that it is Saul. <laughs> Osiris, Osiris, Nazareth comes from this word. Mm. Sirius comes from this word. Sur, Thor, Jupiter, Jupiter, Zeus, Jesus. It's all from here. This is God, the Tsua, the Taurus, the Tor is God. Wow. And God doesn't do anything else. God illuminates the universe like this. This is God. Universal mind, thinking, hmm. pointing to universal, pointing to universal mind, knowing. God knows all things. God thinks all things. I have a question okay. here in the chat that said, "What happens if we are indigenous and don't believe in Zeus?" Well, you, you don't have to. That's a Greek. That's a Greek version. A Greek word. For the God you already worship, which you call him Light, Quetzalcoatl, Viraquosha, Buddha, Jesus, Osiris, Horus, Saturn, Mars, Sun, Sol Invictus, Venus, Mercury, Moon, Chandra, Shanicharaya, Mangalaya, doesn't matter what the freaking hell you want to call it, it's Zeus. All, all, is, all is Zeus, all is Athor, Atum, all of it. And you can't escape it. And you might sit there under a rock and say, oh, I'm different. I'm not going to uh, uh, obey this natural oh, science. science. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't accept Zeus. Well, don't. Doesn't. No skin off my nose. I'm still here. I'm still happy. 
you don't have to accept the truth. You can accept um, all the all the pseudoscience, the Santa versions of this. You can you can you can even just get your camera um, I, uh, um, tripod ready on the twenty fifth of December and see if you can catch a picture of Santa Claus coming down the chimney <laughs> and waiting yeah, I, for Jesus to return. I grew up and uh, I was told that. Uh, we all call on God. Doesn't matter <laughs> how we spell it. Some people spell it J E S U S. Some people spell it Z uh, Z E U S. Some people spell it G O D. Some people spell it uh, uh, K R I S H A. Doesn't matter how you spell God. We all call upon the same God. Yeah, yeah. Some people call it Humpty Dumpty, and it works. So it it it, it simply matters not. It's that you acknowledge that you come from this source. And if you would, just before, I just, I'm glad you brought that up. I know this was not going to be our topic, but if you could just lightly tap on Humpty Dumpty for a second, explain that. Because I did it in my class, and I, and I want them to see it from the from the expert, uh, uh, how what Humpty Dumpty really is. It's us. Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, the plane of inertia. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men Christ, riding a white horse, couldn't put Humpty together again. No one can tell the prodigal son to hurry up and stop ejaculating. No one's going to stop Cullen. He's going to be here for probably a billion years ejaculating with all his boyfriends and demons down in hell. Right? But the path back is vegetarianism, astrology, no ejaculation, and to be sober. That's it. It's pretty simple. You don't have to climb mountains. And swim oceans. You just have to do good stuff, normal stuff. Um, so all is Adum, Humpty Dumpty. Adam, Humpty Dum, Adam. Because you see, all right, well, let's have a look at Adam. Well, is that uh, the damned race of the Adamic race? And would they and would they be the M A D the mad ones who incarnated? Why did they forsake their original abode in the heavens, the Empyrean of fire, and decide to eat the apples with Eve and make a sine wave, the sin of Eve? Uh Ave Maria, Eve, the sin of Eve. This is the sin of Eve. This is the apples. Remember, Adam red and Eve blue, Taurus red, bull blue. And so this is the mad race, the dumb, the Adamites. Cursed, they are mad, damned, dung. They have been turned into dung, adun. See that word dun? That's how you say the world in India, dunya. That's how you say the world in Egyptian, dunya. Wow. That's how you say the world in Hebrew, adama, the world, the earth, red. Red earth, red blood, adam, red, Tauruses, red, red shift, blue shift. And that's all that's going on. Adam is red. Eve is blue, and everything is red and blue in this world. In the supernal world, the transcendental world, it's not red and blue. It is white and black. That's Light and darkness. Yeah, that's Adam, black, and that's Eve, white. Not the other way around. As most people will say, black for women, white for men. No, no. Adam is black, dielectric light. Eve is white, magnetic light. In, in the inferior world, in the inferior world, we have Krishna is now red and Radha Remember the word Rud. If you if you put a T there, 
you've got tall, rotate, rudder, red, red. It's red. Rotating is red. Rotating causes redshift. So these are the two. This is the, the, the transcendental trinity. This is the mundane trinity. This is God's work in, electric, in the electrical or electromagnetic world. This is the magneto-dielectric world. Black, still light. White, moving, motion, magnetic, light, mag, to move. Rest, motion. Here is the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Tempting Adam and even. Even numbers are all feminine. Two, four, six, eight. Odd numbers are all Adam numbers. Odd -um. One, three, five. It's all numbers. It's an on and off pulsating universe. On, off, on, off, on, off. No particles in between. Hasn't got any time to make particles. No time to make particles. Only pulses, which then engender a wave. It's all pulses. Dum, dum. Like your heartbeat. Dum, dum. Dum, dum. Dum, dum. All is a dum. That's funny. You know, in Australia, do you know, do you know what we call a toilet? Where you do, where you where you um, you do your dung, yeah. We call it a dunny. D U N, a dunny. You go to the dunny to do some dung, yeah. It's all there. All all of this has to do with man in his fallen state. He is dumb. He is damned. He is mad. There's a lot of other words too. Dull. Um, there's a lot of other words that I can put in here. Uh, it's a gazillion. I've done this on many shows, showing how all the, the negative words demented, demonized, dem. All is a dem. This is demonized, uh, demented, diminished. It all comes from Adam. Because... When we have red and blue blood, diminutia. Oh, mate, I got I, I got a gazillion of them. You want to know those words? Well, let's have a look then. I'll do that to finish off with. All right, here's the words. I'll just say them nice and quickly. In fact, I'll share my screen. <laughs> you having fun, brother? You always, you always have fun when you're interviewing me. You will always have fun. And and I laugh. I laugh at these um, this new kind of false prophet now who dress in panties. Because they're not real, and if they are real, they're an MK Ultra Pizzagate uh, Tavistock operation on steroids. These guys—they're not real. You can tell they're ejaculators on steroids. They, you know, with their delicious voice, Danny Wilton and his his delicious voice. No man does that. What is he trying to impress? Little boys, girls don't like it. Um, so, so why would you just not use your own voice, and why would you just not get dressed up to do your prophesying gigs? So. You've got to have a laugh, man. Laugh because they're not real. They, these are just, this is the antithesis of syncretism, these creeps. And that's what they want to be because they keep turning up, attacking me. I'd never attack them. I'm, I've never, I let, I've let these clowns go for three years. Danny, I let him go for three years. And then I keep hearing reports about what they're saying and what they're saying because I don't go to their sites. I don't have time to go and watch their stuff. They all watch my, my stuff. They watch everything I've ever done. Backwards, upside down, mate. They are my freaking panty followers. Um, oh, yeah. They follow me always in their panties. And so, um, you know, what's what's the good of that? Well, you've got to have a laugh. 
Have a look at all these words here. Demon, demios. Can you see my screen? This is all Adam words, guys. All of them. Demo, demos, medium, pandemonium, demigods, baphomet, omet, demiurge, abandon, antichrist, antith um, anathema, condemn, demolish, demise, demented, demonstrate, dementia, demotion, denigrate, dense, den deny, daunting, dynasty, giant, glutton, ordinary, primordial, rotten, Satan, stumble, titans, tamasic, tyranny, trauma, tumor, tumult, tamper, temper, vandal, just to name a few. I mean, there's so, so many words. Here's, um, look at all this stuff that I'm just going to release, man. Dump this on the world. This is going to be like big, 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 big. Massive dump of information, 450 PowerPoint presentations. Let's go forward where we find the other words that I was talking about. Oh, yeah, but see, have a look at this. So the dunny, that's the Australian dunny, all right? And to know that the, the Egyptian word for world is dunya. Okay, it's exactly the same because it, it, it's a shithole compared to where we come from. That's all. But but it's it's still not to be considered that. It's just a, a mode of saying, mode, all is adum, um, of saying that this world is inferior to the, the high world, but the higher world. But we don't have to hate this world like some people do. Here's a um, interesting expression, Tom Tit. So you're... It's a Cockney slang for taking a shit, right? Just nipping off for a Tom tit. Now, why would that be a Tom? Why? Okay, a dunce. All is a dun. Because here in this world, we are dunces. We are dunces. Dancing. Dancing. Dangerous. Dangerous dance for a dunce. All is a dun. A donga. Here is a one-room unit. We call them dongas. Yeah, because one unit is a dom. Dump. Dump. Okay? Here's man taking a dump. A dune. A wee drum. Anyway, I better finish off. That's it. I'm done. No. Yeah, in many ways. And I can only just be very superficial in um, in showing how that is so. Um, so let's have a look at a birthday. Can we have the individual's birthday? <coughs> oh, well, well, don't worry. We'll do mine. It's all right. We'll do mine. 24. Well, first of all, this comes, that's my, my um, 24th of March, 1963. Don't worry about it. We'll just do mine. Forget about the other one. Um, so this is six. Okay, that tells you a lot about me. To One who is born on the 24th mm -hmm. is also a sixer. Mm -hmm. Okay? And six is very powerful, guys. Okay? Probably why my name is um, Santos. Santos. Mm -hmm. Which means uh, Saint... By the way, nothing I ever try to live up to. <laughs> I, my, my grandmother used to call me Santo Diavolo. <laughs> she was uh, my, my paternal grand, grandmother. Um, she, um, bless her soul, she um, immigrated in 56. <clears throat> and um, 
she was very proud that I was called Santo after her husband, my grandfather, uh, and and another cousin of mine who was also first born got to be called uh, Santo, like me. So she was happy about that, but she used to do, Italians do this when they're angry. They bite their hand mm -hmm. oh, at their children and, and they and they fling their hand off at them like they're going to. And so she would, I remember her many times, Santo Diavolo. So I'm happy that my name means saint. Doesn't mean I try to be a saint, okay? So, but you can see there, you can see Aton. Mm -hmm. Atan. Me, many people w will say Saturn. That's fine. Doesn't matter because Saturn is Jesus. Satan is Jesus. There's no real individual called Satan. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and 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 um, it's Satan uh, is personifies or epitomizes all demonic entities who are real, and demonic entities, beings, creatures. Thought forms, emotion forms, egregores, that's what a demon is. They are persons. They are real spiritual beings and they're depraved. And they attack people like uh, Cullen Smith uh, in their thousands and try to get attention to steal it away from syncretism by using my name or syncretism or anything to do with me in the titles of their um, panty videos that they do. So um, that's what demons do. They are depraved. Okay, so when you add all this up, it comes to 28. 2 plus 8 is 1. So I'm a 6. I'm a 6 by virtue of my 24th of March, 1963. But I'm also a 1 by virtue of all the numbers added up yeah. together. So this tells you a lot. I was born on a Sunday. Okay. Number 1. I have number 1 in my birth date and this tells you a lot i won't go into i won't go into it all or, or nocturnal hey do you have a diurnal chart or nocturnal chart diurnal uh yeah that's strong aries <laughs> totally aries oh yeah oh yeah yeah so if you understand astrology i, I will do my ch I've, actually my chart is um available online just put uh santos bonacci birth chart and um, I'm going to do, I've actually done um, some written, um, a written reading of my chart and I've given that to people. It's on my um, website, universaltruthschool.com. It's on my Facebook page. Um, but one day I will do a, a full two-hour show just on my um, astrology because that would be the best way to teach it since people know me, I don't know them. And then um, as I explain my chart, they can see all the things, the correspondences with my chart. So, but, We'd glad but all you have to We'd be glad to host you for that one, man. Most definitely. We're working on some big things. Um, I just wanted to say to those who have watched us, uh, we've gone a little bit of, about two hours, uh, and believe me, um, Santos and I, uh, this is nothing, you know, uh, we can go for hours of this with, with the truth. Uh, I do want to go ahead and put his information out there. You guys see it scrolling across the top of your screen there. You can contact Santos, you can connect with him rather, uh, on Twitter at Mr. Astro Theology, on YouTube at Mr. Astro Theology, at UniversalTruthSchool.com, and also Facebook.com forward slash Santos dash dash Bonacci. Um, as a matter of fact, let me let me transition here to show them your website while I have you on here. Um, what it looks like, so you guys will know uh, if you've got the right thing.
And so the root of antos is ontos in Greek, and that means to be, time, entity, ente, santos, Satan, wow, Satana, Anna, Saint Anna. It's all the same stuff. Wow, it's all time. Saint Anna. Wow, and that's, not, that's another way of saying Santos. Of course, it is Saint Anne. So, and and of course, um, it all comes from this ontos to be in Greek ontology. This is that gives you the science of ontology. Well, that's in santo, santo. Okay, so that's how you have to look at words atomically. It's called atomology, mm -hmm. etymology. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, and wow. Thank you, bro. Let me uh, put your YouTube up here. The full so you got right. me you how something as simple as a little sign can't hear you like break this. it up say it again okay can you hear me now yes okay uh well we are uh we're back and um i just want to say santos thanks again brother i definitely gonna call you after we get off of here to discuss some uh some more details i love this um this was amazing any last uh words for the people we're definitely gonna have you back on here man don't don't, don't run anywhere okay <laughs> No, no, no. We'll, we'll do this weekly, if not uh, bi-weekly, um, because I want to get uh, syncretism out properly. I've got too much stuff to um, to share, and I just don't want to hold it back. Syncretism has to be done properly. You've got a lot of, um, you know, plagiarist imitators out there with their delicious voices and everything, and their, I don't know, their underwear, and not only them. There's there's others, good intentioned people too, with good hearts, rather than the evil ones that I've mentioned on this show. Um, but they're doing it wrong. Even the flat earthers, there's a lot. They're doing it wrong. They're doing everything. They're trying to do everything right, but they're not. They're not doing everything right. So I'm. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm going to correct everything because why? Well, because because I know how to. You know, if you you know how to play the guitar, you grab the guitar and you play, you play it because you know how to. So I know how to do syncretism. So I, I just do it. It's it's natural and. Um, so I've got to do more of it, and I'll be doing probably seven of these two-hour presentations every day. If if I get people like you to host them mm -hmm. um, and who are willing to get it out there mm -hmm. and host these things, we'll do a two-hour thing every day. We'll do a school. We'll have an academy where people add to me and <laughs> academy. <laughs> all the time. I love it. So, love uh, it. yeah. You're, so if you want to host them, uh, Cosmic, most you got a gig. Most definitely. I would definitely, uh, like I said, I'll call you after this and we'll, we'll work on all the details. Folks, I want to say thank you guys so much. I cannot say enough. Uh, I want to bless the uh, the creator. Um, and uh, I do want to pray it out. I thank you, great God in me, great God over us. I thank you for bringing us together. I thank you for opening up ways uh, to produce truth. The entrance of your word brings light and understanding to the simple. So we thank you for causing an entrance to be made for your word to bring forth upon the earth. And uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, send us on out of here.